What's up, Prim Pam? Welcome back to the vlog. You know how I had computer problems yesterday and I said I wasn't going to do anything about it? Should have done something about it yesterday. Thank you to Firesprint.com for sponsoring today's video. Now, I finally have my computer working. It took me a good, ooh, 30 minutes. And this time I plugged it into an even different SATA port and at least it's working. I'm nervous and I should do something more, but check back in tomorrow's vlog to see how pissed I am. <laughs> um, I did go look up the system just so I could explain why I'm not upset, but also just, it was interesting. So this system is an i5-6600K, and I bought all of the parts from Newegg. And in 2016, this system cost me $952.90. And this was, this is really the last computer that I have really purchased, other than like the Dells and the Mac that I purchased just a month or so ago. So, considering that it has pretty much been on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for, what is that, five years? Not that upset. It's the same hard drive that I bought when I first got it. It's like, it's all the same. So, 32 gigs of RAM. I bought a GTX 960. The SSD, uh, Hyper 212 Evo cooler, you know, something I remember back in the day, I always tried to keep the system about a thousand bucks. So on with today's video in the Facebook group, which is linked down below, um, I asked people what they wanted me to talk about and Dave asked, how do I handle poor artwork supplied by customers? Low resolution images, do I fix it for free in house? Send it out for vector conversion, charge, not charge, etc. So, most of the time, I'm the one dealing with a good chunk of the artwork. Whether that's designing the business card, designing the flyer, very rarely do I get people or my customers that send me stuff. Um, occasionally I do. If it is a big enough customer, I just take care of it. Um, if it is a customer that is a pain, then I will usually um, message them and say, hey, this is low resolution. I can remake it. It's going to add some time and it will add some expense. Most of the time they're just fine with it or magically they have a better version. They just didn't want to look for it. Um, I do have Penji still. I've had them for forever. And I still have them on retainer, but I don't use them as much just because right now everything I'm doing is mostly supplied work. Um, and 90% of what I do is just logos anyway. Um, like especially stickers. Stickers are mainly logos or logos with some text. Um, I've been doing a lot of greeting cards and thank you cards and Christmas style stuff. Um, I do have a few big wholesale customers that this month of loan have spent about $20,000 and they provide everything. Um, they usually forget to add a bleed, but 90% of the time what they send me is vector so I can just go in and I just will do that myself. It's not worth trying to explain that to Penji when I can just add that myself. Um, if it's images, like for things like wedding announcements, then usually I'll let people know that it might not print clear. We can do a test run, but I will charge for the test run. Um, but one of the things that I have done with my business is I try not to charge for artwork because I want that to set me apart. I do, I do tell people 
that I don't charge for artwork. Sometimes they still ask me to, like big corporations will usually still ask me to charge because they understand the value. Um, but for a lot of the small pop places, I don't charge them artwork because I want more of their business. And usually once I explain to them, like I do the high school and I flat out told them I won't charge them for artwork. So they use me more because other places do charge them for artwork. But that hurts them because they have to have approval and there's bidding and um, it makes it easier if they don't have to have that as a factor. So I win 90 plus percent of their bids because they know that they don't have to pay for artwork, which allows them to either get more or do more. Um, so there are certain cases that it helps. There are certain customers that I do charge it to always, um, but that's more of a you're a pain in the butt than... I need to charge for artwork, but that's a lot of the reason why I stopped doing like one-off t-shirts because I can't make enough money doing one t-shirt because of the artwork involved with it. And if I built them for my time to do that artwork, they wouldn't want the t-shirt. So I don't want to do it anymore. I do think every business needs to find their own flow for it. I don't have a hard and fast rule though. I change my mind all the time. Sometimes I do it for free. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes for the same customer I charge. Sometimes I don't. Um, it really, it really comes down to like how big is the customer? How much money do they give me? How picky are they? Like the grocery store, I don't charge them. And I probably design a poster every few months for him. And he just says, hey, this is what I need to say. And I'd say nine times out of 10, it's okay, that's perfect. No changes, just print it. Sometimes they'll come back and say, oh, you spelled something wrong, or, hey, can we change this? Or they, the department changed their mind, so we got to change this slightly. But most of, like, most of the grocery store's orders are repeat label orders. So they have popcorn labels, they have produce labels, they have the signs that they do, they have the shirts that they do, and we've done the same shirt. For the last two years, uh, we've ordered the same thing like seven or eight times. The labels, it's the same label every time. We're to, we order 100,000 at a time. The popcorn labels, it just depends on what they order. And they text me and say, hey, this is the flavor. We're out. Give us 500 more. So most of the time, it's like, yeah, I will give you free artwork for your posters that you're going to spend $60 on because then you give me all this other work that you're not, that, that's like super simple. I'd probably say start charge, like if you're new, I would recommend charging for it. Even if it's just like 25 bucks an hour or something. My typical rate when I charge for artwork is $65 an hour. And usually it's just like an hour if I charge them. Um, but that's, it's harder for me to go back because I didn't start charging for it in the first place. But most of my customers, I want them for a repeat business. So the grocery store example is 90% of the time, it's just, hey, I need more of this. So I feel okay giving them a poster here and there, but it's just my two cents. So another thing I thought of while I was editing the video is honestly by doing the artwork that's an advantage that we as resellers have because as you'll hear soon with the sponsor of buyersprint.com they don't do artwork they expect the artwork to be right when they get it and it's the same thing when you order promotional products from outsourced vendors like they expect it to be right and done and ready and perfect and that's the advantage that we can provide whether we charge for it or not like 
that's the value that we can add, that the artwork is right, it's set up correctly, it's going to print right. Um, so decide for yourself whether or not you want to charge for it. Like I said, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't because that's what I try to sell as my value proposition. So before we wrap the video up, just a huge shout out to firesprint.com for sponsoring today's video. A uh, product that I wanted to highlight is their full design. Um, if you were like me and you were trying to get the Sinicade plastic stands, which they also carry, they were pretty much impossible earlier this year. The nice thing about the full design is it is a single piece core plast sign that folds out to an A-frame, but it allows it to ship flat, be lightweight, cost less money, but be a great alternative. So like I've already thought of some usage for like my local high school. They like to put signs up around the football field uh, with sponsors or different things. And that is a way better option for them than using a Sinicade because it's cheaper. If it gets ruined, it doesn't matter. If it gets stolen, it doesn't matter as much, but it's a more affordable option with material that's more readily available than the um, plastic Sinicate signs, but they do carry both. They're both on their website. They also have a fabulous fast and free section. So make sure you go check them out. You can get 10% off your first order with the coupon down in the description. But I'd love to know what you guys do artwork wise with your customers. Let me know down in the comments and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.